Yeah, no, I, I, I got to give it to Wendy. <laughs> Boys and Girls is one of my favorites of the 90s. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, we come to that time of the show where we have one, one. Oh, what oh. else? <laughs> No, it's like it never finishes. Oh, okay. it, like, yeah, yeah. It, it always starts on last. Like it what never, is the one? I don't know. I, Get I Sean the, the race track. Track. I don't know. Oh wow. <laughs> It's like they don't already. Nick, Nick, don't feel bad. I got this look. <laughs> I got the same treatment. I got up and walked out the room, and she was like, you know, it's this ain't like in um in um in the Avengers where Don Cheadle came in and just took the range right. of yeah. hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't feel bad. I knew it was coming. So yeah. you, know, you now have been duly initiated, a duly initiated member of the, of the fraternity. I'm, lo I'm, I'm loyal, guys, sir. I'm, I'm a loyal. <laughs> I'm loyal. <laughs> I don't commit mutiny. <laughs> well, well, I also, again, he joined us earlier uh, in the program, I know, I know. Mr. Nathan Snell. So we're going to bring Nate Dog back <laughs> in for one, la for one last word. How you doing there, Nathan? How we doing? I'm doing fine. All right. So we're going to start with you then, our, our newly minted guest. Uh, what is your one last word for this week? What do you got for us? Uh, one last word is, hmm. I kind of, did, I, I, did this, I did this presentation for uh, the church that I attend this okay. past weekend. Okay. And, um, I'm kind of going to go more into detail with it when I go live myself. Um, I think hey, Nathan, when are you going live, Nathan, when are you going live? <laughs> In like 15 minutes. There we go. Um, you guys no, still want to do my job. I'm just telling you, whatever. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry. sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. It, it's, it's not as easy as it, as it looks, is it? Handy last week, <laughs> you this week. What's the what's the difference? I can't even I can't even just get you know, won't even let me get there. But I'm sorry. As, as you club, were my saying, friend. Mr. Snell. <laughs> yes, go ahead. The um is you know, we, we gotta attack, we gotta be smart at the plate. Um where we deal with different things in life that we go through. Um, yeah. I'm going to go more into detail with it, but that's my last word. We got to be better. We got to be smarter at the plate. Okay. We, 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 we deal with situations in our lives, respectively. Okay, fair enough. I, well, I look forward to hearing that later. Delilah, my dear. Delilah, you make me smile. What is your last word uh, for this week? Uh, so, I'm sorry. I don't know how you even rhymed that, but that was funny. Um, you like that, right? That's right. That's right. You're a poet, I see. No. And I don't even know it, right? Yeah. Okay, see, you rhymed that too. Look at you. You, you don't even try, right? It just, it just happens. Sometimes, baby, sometimes. You know. No, uh, I want to kind of like just follow with. Uh, with uh white shoes and honestly i dance like no one's watching i know it's it's corny but sometimes like you know just dance it out whatever it is right just you know it's seeing in the shower you know whatever it is that you need to to kind of like break the monotony of stuff or like if if you're feeling overwhelmed because i know that there's there's so much coming at us so many things going on in the world currently that are scary to me not just a pandemic but there's stuff going on the other side of the world if y'all have been paying attention i'm ter you know scary scary stuff are ha is happening <laughs> that i almost feel like we're entering another cold war era uh <laughs> so some scary stuff right there's just a lot of intense stuff going on it's hard sometimes to to take a breather and so basically like just do something to just kind of break that up, break that, that, that tension, that, that nervousness, the anxiety you have, like, you know what I mean? Just whatever you need to do, like dance it off, work it out. Like, I don't know, but a bust out of tune, like, you know what I mean? Just, I don't know, do something that will kind of snap you out of that routine and just kind of 
just give you that 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 relief like whatever it is a small moment right find your small moment like find a small moment to to just do something that you know could just kind of break you out of that that you know that dread and anxiety whatever that is that you need even you know something funny like do the funky chicken dance like you know what i'm saying like something something silly <laughs> there it is like you know what i mean like just something silly like that like just yeah, honestly sure. like so you know let's let's have some um i don't know just be silly there's nothing wrong with that in in the right dose right let's just honestly like whatever that is like just kind of you know yeah to you know i, I don't like know. It. I always That's like to be safe. I, I, don't, right, just, I don't know. I don't mean that seem as deep and profound as it usually nah, hey. is, but I feel like sometimes like the things could be really overwhelming and you could right. you could I, feel this. Simple. Yeah, you could keep this, you know, so just do something to kind of break out of that, whatever it For is. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Handy, what is your last word this week, my friend? Come on. Um I actually got two words this week. I know, Nick, I'm going against the grain. All you tell that's Mr. All. Handy to come up with one word, oh, you're going to have two right. words. Um, I, I got yeah. I got two. Yeah, yeah, good and terrible. I thought for sure he was dead. Donation, donation. I thought it was a trash can. Anyway, don't get me started on that, please, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you the ball, bro. I'm trying to give you the ball, Danny, bro. Danny, Danny, Danny Dimes. There it is. Bow, right, right in there. Is. John Stockton. That's Call right, baby. Up. I am yeah. John Stockton. That's right. Uh, I got two, two words, words for you today. Word number one is believe. Okay. Word number two is move. Okay. Uh, we got we we got ourselves a small word yesterday from uh from prophetess prophetess Janae Struther. Mm -hmm. Uh, a, a, a strong word, and she talked about not giving up. Now, the thing about not giving up, that just means. Oh, that just means don't that just means don't stop. I got a I got a I got a I got a cough button over here. I love it. Um, but you also have to in the process of not giving up, you still have to believe. Whitney Houston told us long time ago, you can't do miracles if you believe. And it's the truth. Um, you know, boys the men, even we were talking about boys the men earlier. They have a little known song on their album it said, just you wait and see. I'll make you believe you can make this dream a reality. There are, there's so many people right now that are just kind of in a state of, I don't know what I'm going to do. Economy's in the crapper. We can't find stuff in the grocery store. We can't do X, Y, Z. How am I going to make this thing I got here and get it over here? You have to believe and then you have to move. Like, I don't want to do the whole sermon thing like Janae did last night, but something that came to my mind was, <clears throat> there was a particular passage where the Israelites were going into war and they were trying to decide who they were, uh, who they were that were going to become soldiers. And they prayed and then they got up and they moved. So they believed and then they moved. It said faith without works is dead. So if you've got something going on in your life that you are trying to if you got anything even if it's something as simple as i'm gonna start a lemonade stand even if it's something as simple as um yours truly a couple of years ago this was before i met all of y'all i'd been out of school for almost i've been out of college for almost almost 30 years uh because i left college to join the army but i always wanted my bachelor's degree because i always told my kids listen i don't want you to go into debt to do it if you got to go into debt don't do it but right. there's something that the one thing that you cannot be taken away from you is education. And I said, right. I'm going to get my degree. And this spring will be two years since I got my bachelor's degree. Right. I went and got my bachelor's degree. I believed I could do it. I knew I could do it. But right. nothing happened about me getting it until I moved to until go get moved it. To do, no. So no. believe and move. I'm going to be brief because I don't want to do the, I don't, no, I definitely right, don't want to, I mean, we had a TDJ. I didn't a, come to preach to you. No. We had a sermon last night of <laughs> TD Jake's <laughs> epic proportions last right. night, but I just wanted to, like Nick Cannon said, I just want to throw a little something extra extra on the end. So right. there you go. That, that's it. Believe and move. First thing to do is believe it. It's this, if you can believe it, and you can conceive it, then you can achieve it. So believe and move. I like Stay it. Say it with me, everybody. I want everybody in congregation. Believe, believe and move. I like it. 
Mr. Spencer, what are you I'm giving? I'm giving Anthony his fingers. He wants right, to give me that. <laughs> yeah, so, buddy. Mr. Spencer, one last word, sir. Yeah, uh, um, real quick. Um, two things, real quick, and I have to say this. I wasn't going to say the first one, but um, but they impressed me so much. Be ye always ready, uh, and that goes to our dear, dear host. Uh, Nicholas Rosario, what? you oh, are absolutely amazing. Oh, and if, dude, if it on. takes us telling you how amazing you are, then that needs to be told. That needs to be said. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know that you had a little bit of uh, about taking and running this and doing, you know, being in charge of this. But yeah, you know. when you were put in that position a week ago, did I don't think we skipped a beat. Nothing switched up. You know the game, you know all about us, and you have the most important part. You care. You care about people. You know, the thing, modern misconception is that all you got to do is read stats and read facts and this and that, and that's how you do football. No, we, we built in this, like with Janae, is we care about people. Oh, Nicholas shit. Rosario, I've talked to you late nights. I've talked to you early mornings. I've talked to you seven days a week. You sure. you have been you have already been built for this. You already know. And That's like I said yesterday, said. like I said yesterday, all of you, in my opinion, could have your own show. I mean, right now, three out of the five people on here are host their own show. Well, actually, well, shoot, now I can just say five of us. Because Delilah, you do host on Thursdays, and Nick, you you know, today, like so nobody, nobody in this group. Is is without that ability to do that, but like like he said, believe. Um, but what I really want to focus on today is one of the CEOs of the Let's Talk Football family. In the beginning, there was four. It was started with two of us, right. and then it grew into four of us. Okay. Two, obviously, Janae Struther. She approached me, Sean Spencer, um, the one who challenged me, my dear Catherine Hughes, obviously. But there's one man that I don't think gets nearly enough recognition. And there's one man that does so many things in the background that people don't see, and he needs to be lifted up. My guy, my Mr. 56 to 14, Mr. David Wright. Right. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> I, I love you so dearly. And you guys got to understand, when before David Wright came a part of this, it was just her and I talking. I was making a couple of videos. There was no traction whatsoever. Right. When David came in, I, I said, David, I, I'm doing a lot of this. All I need you to do is go on Facebook and make a Facebook group. Not mm-hmm. only did he make the Facebook group, but he started to add the people in, the Sydneys, the Ashes, the Dalton, bringing people in, trying to get them to, to see the vision. David works his tail off. For those of you that don't know, he is a manager at a restaurant. And you know, Delilah, you have talked about, you've been outspoken about, you know, we need to treat our wait staff and our, our service industry a lot better. He has dealt with so many things, and every opportunity he gets, he hops on here. Yeah. David Wright, mm-hmm. him and I, and this I know I love him, we we bumped heads a bunch of times. But at the end of the day, we see the vision. We see where we're going. Right. When this thing really takes off, he will be one of the CEOs, one of the four that is the main trust of this thing. Sounds good. And, and I, I definitely think David Wright needs – He, I'm giving you a rose right now because, right. David Wright, Ooh. you you were with me in sports marketing, junior year in, in 1999, <laughs> 2000. Oh, I under, love under that. Mrs. Pettibone, <laughs> oh, and we were sitting there. David, <laughs> you and I have hung out. Back when home oh. guys had, you know, buddies had sleepovers and stuff. Oh, no, yeah. not sleeping. Oh. Video games and <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, Dave, boys. you have been one of my most dear oh. and best friends. And and the thing that you guys don't know <laughs> is that, that. <laughs> I, you guys see what happens once the record button goes on and once we right. go live. Right. But only a select few see what happens after the fact. Right. David has been up there late nights with me. And David has... <laughs> David has been one of the reasons why we're still going. I'm not going to get too in detail about it, but there have been certain times where I was, I didn't see, that's why I reacted the way I did yesterday with Janae said, I didn't see the end and I didn't see it. And a lot of it, I just took all the heat of whatever was going on. And David was one of those that just kept telling me, you, you have to, you have to keep going because you don't understand 
the reach that you have, with the, the people that you're in touch with, the fact that all look 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 at the, what the different things represented. You got Baltimore down there with Big Nate Talk podcast. You got Chicago, Illinois here. You got Oklahoma and, and essentially Georgia as well with Anthony and Zagnet Productions and all this stuff. You know we got Will and Ab and Janae and and, and Ash and Katie and Del- every. There are so many people represented here, all on a common goal, and that's not easy to run. It's not easy to do. Um, but David, you you have you have reinstilled that heart and and revitalized me. So I gotta show love to y'all. Be always ready, man. And hey, you got I love it. I love it. You already know what this. Well, I mean, I, I, I do appreciate that. Thank you, Sean. Um, it, it's funny because, you know, again, I, I don't, I'll do whatever. Like, this is just one of those things where, like, I just like to have a good time, man. And if I can do that, talking movies, talking sports, talking just, you know, talking crap, whatever. Like, I, it's just, you know, it, life is life, man. We're, we're only here for a short time, right? We got to enjoy the time we have. You know, life can, life can, we can get you down sometimes. Life can throw curveballs at you. But at the end of the day, man, we're just here together on this planet to, to just have a good time, love each other. You know what I mean? Life is too short, man. Not enough for all that other BS. You know, I know we there's plenty in life enough to uh, keep you busy and to keep you, you know, keep you distracted. That when you get on something like this, man, let's just have a good time and have some fun. To that end, as we know, like I saw somebody earlier say, you know, they wanted some Nick karaoke. And, you know, far be it for me to yeah. keep my fans from, you know, uh, as you know, this past weekend, Meatloaf died. Yeah, I the know. Meatloaf. Now, you got to understand something. This guy was an idol of mine. When you get a 300-pound guy who can sing like that, like how does that not inspire a chubby kid like me, you know, playing Bad Out of Hell when I was like six years old, listening to this music going, this is phenomenal. This is what I want to do when I'm older. Like, how do you not, you know, how did I not have dreams of being Meatloaf? Like, for real, it was, like, one of the greatest things in the world. And it's funny because, you know, I thinking about what I was going to say for a last word, you know, everybody always has something pretty profound, and I get that. Like I said, we're all we're all intelligent people here. We all have things we, we care about and love and, and things we want to say and do. But I, I did want to end on a lighthearted note because I just think if, if you've ever listened to a Meatloaf song, he, his writer was a guy named Jim Steinman. And Steinman wrote all these, like, crazy lyrics and he would make puns that you had no idea what they were like the lyrics were so dated that he would you would hear lines of the song and go what the hell is he talking about like there's a great there's a great line in one of his most popular songs uh called two out of three ain't bad where he's he's singing obviously about <laughs> you know lost love and all this but he says you're never you you know, i'll sing it fine you'll never drill for oil on a city street I know you're looking for a ruby in a mountain of rock, but there ain't no Coupe de Ville hiding at the bottom of a Cracker Jack box. Now, where in the hell do you get a line like that from, right? Who the hell is going to hide a car in a Cracker Jack box? I love it. <laughs> but that's the kind of stuff that Jim wrote, and that's Meatloaf singing that, singing his heart out with those kind of lyrics. How do you not love that? But anyway, so shout out to my guy, Meat. You were an inspiration to me always. I enjoyed everything you did. Uh, may you rest Aww. in peace, sir. Uh, you know, again, and that's what I say, guys. We all know we're here for, for the, you know, uh, whatever amount of time we're here. I'm just trying to enjoy it. I want to thank Sean for the opportunity to host this show. Seriously, uh, you're the best, man. I love you. Nate, you're still here with us. You're going on very shortly. Yes, sir. Please, anybody who's listening, Nate's going to be going live on his YouTube channel, Big Nate Podcast. Look forward to subscribe. Give him the likes. Give him the whole bit. Mr. King of Late Night. Guys taking it over. It's phenomenal. Thank you for being with us today. Go ahead and go prep for your show, man. Of Thank course, you. I also have the lovely and talented Delilah Crespo. Hey. Delilah knows I'm just kidding. I love this girl to death. Delilah and I have been together now about eight or nine years. Jesus, yeah, uh, a long time. We've spent, we've, spent many, we've spent many a time in the firing line at that damn Packers bar we like to go to. Well, we love them, that place. Our don't beloved get it bears, right? No, no, no. You know I do, too. I got number left for my buddies. But listening to those guys, I'm just, man, Delilah yeah. and I would be in the corner bar trying to keep each other sane. <sighs> Mr. Handy, it's a bit of pleasure to meet you, sir. Uh, uh, again, a guy who 
who, whose mind kind of runs like mine, man. I always got stuff running through my head. I want to say, or I want to do, or somebody says something, I want to make a joke and like all the time so having to meet you, man. I'm like this guy. And I we're, we're the long lost brother from somebody's mother. I'm telling you, dude, but anyway, I'm telling you being at having, having an office job yeah. and having to sit in a meeting and somebody say something. <laughs> right. In a meeting, oh, no, and yeah, I'm yeah. just like, Light your sleeve, just turn around, take yeah. your coffee, whatever. Pinch you're myself doing. in the leg. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, it's like Dave Chappelle said, every brother needs an old black guy to jump up and go, Don't do that. Yeah, that's, don't do it. Exactly. It's in the back of my head. That that's that's what I got one of those. Oh, I love that. I love it. So thank you, Mr. Handy, again. You got anything coming up this week for us, Anthony? Uh we are going to be good on tomorrow we just do push back uh, we decided for the next couple of weeks at least until the um until this until the super bowl is done we're going to push okay. back to wednesdays just okay. to make so because we, we don't want to pull we we all want to kind of put our input into let's talk football on mondays following the sunday shows sure so you know i want to jump in and throw my two cents in so we are right. moving uh let's talk not let's talk. Uh, this week in the SEC. <laughs> the SEC okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to call my show. Let's talk yeah, in the let's SEC. Talk, let's, let's talk, let's talk SEC, in the let's talk football. The SEC. Right. I don't need. They just told me that we that we're gonna have to call it with let's talk football. I said, exactly. well, we're talking football. He said, no, that's the name of the show. He said, let's talk football. I said, who you want to talk about? He said, no, nah, fool, that's the name of the show. Right. So uh, uh, this week in the SEC uh, is moving to until the Super Bowl is done. We're gonna go on Wednesdays, and Sean and I will figure out uh, who's gonna. Who's on first? Who, right, what's who's on second? second? Yeah. I don't know who's on third, right? You yeah, but we'll be on we'll be on, on Wednesdays until the Super Bowl is over. Okay, so. very good. And of course, Mr. Spencer, we know you're everywhere, but Mondays, especially you and Janae got the show 6 30 Eastern time, correct? Mm -hmm. That's yep, where we def Monday. that's where we definitely see you. And that's then of the course, with every other show, you'll just be floating around and doing whatever you do. <laughs> but you know what just hit me? What? What you know what just hit me? Sean is like the Charles Nelson Riley of podcasts. Oh wow, here we go. Mm, that's like a good. that's like a throwback and see see you the He's only one that got that. They, they just, they just kind of nodded. It. They were like, who is he talking about? I not, got it. I got not it. Not Charles Nelson. Yeah, Charles Nelson Riley. Charles Center Center Square, Square, Hollywood Square. Square, Hollywood Square. Hollywood Square. She got it. I got the reference. I got it. Yeah. I just yeah, but I look, feel... yeah, so mon uh Monday night, obviously right. let's talk football let's with talk myself and Nate Struther. Tuesday night, you guys are gonna see the round table eight thirty. Um Wednesday night. You already heard Anthony's talking about it. Um, watch the football weekly. I don't know if they're going to be going on this week, but we will definitely be going on the following week because on okay. February 2nd, 2022, the new name will come out. Right, the name um, comes out. There it is, right. Uh, the uh, the best show in our group, Thursday night at 6.30. There it is. The all the <laughs> football <laughs> ladies takeover. Right. That's right. Who, who, it's going to be groundbreaking because for the first and potentially only time, there will be a male on there. Ooh, yes, right. We got to shake yeah. it up. Oh, no. Hey, no. hey, we're breaking the glass ceiling. We're breaking hey, the glass that's ceiling right. for men. That's there right. Is. Hey, here we go. There we go. Here you go. And, uh, okay. One more. I cannot, I can't overlook this one. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Let's talk football yep. Sunday. We got a good thing, Nick and Nathan. I know you guys can agree with me. Absolutely. Myself. Nicholas Rosario, Nathan um, Snell, and then the the biggest our, our secret weapon, Mr. Oh, Encyclopedia kid, himself, genius, man. Dylan Walsh. Yes. Yeah, he he's amazing. And then you also got you know Ash came on, Kyle Yacy came on. That we our, our buddy from our buddy from Canada, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. you know. So we hey, definitely Kyle. got the door open for that. But that's you know that's what we're doing. You already know what it is, Nick. You already know True. what it is. So and I yeah. might be giving you the rain sometimes. <laughs> oh, these guys there's a lot. The there's a lot on my plate. Well, I was protesting that. She wants you back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I love you. I want you back. I love you guys. No, I love again. Thank you, Sean. I love you, Nick. <laughs> been a, right, been she wants Don Cheeto back. Again, I will, I will take this as long I as I make you one Avengers me. reference. <laughs> Woo! Well, well, listen, again. Hey, everything sticks around here. Yeah, it stinks. What do you say? Stinks around sticks. here or sticks? Oh, Every, sticks. All, all the nick, all the nicknames stick, man. They really do, though. That's so like, true, though. You call you shout you to you giving Sean love. I got people in the comments going the shout out king, like <laughs> you know. Right. So I don't know for, where, where did that come from? I gave I that know. to you. Where does that come? From? Oh, he gave know. it to you, I guess. Because you shout out everybody. Be like, you know what? I was sitting on the couch 
And right. my lovely fiance, Kat, y'all know Kat. She's right. a Michigan lady. They love Detroit, <laughs> West Virginia. And I was sitting on the couch, and my baby brought me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I was like, babe, how did you know? I wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So shout out to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Very, <laughs> very under my shout outs are only that my shout outs are reserved for people. You know why I do that? You know why I do that? And so if when I shout people out, okay. then like you said in the comments, now people know them. Everybody right. knows that. I've, I've told her you are one of the most popular people in Let's Talk Football. That's very true. And, and you've really been on what two yeah. percent of the shows. Huh? Like when I cool, shout me? people out, it's giving them their due. Cat, I said cat, man. I didn't know what he was talking about, man. I was missing oh, you, that. Thought I said, you thought I said cat, cat Williams. Okay. That's right. Right. I, I, didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm going to step back over here in my corner. Pip got to do what he got to do. Okay. <laughs> you, see, you see what we have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen? No, I love it. it. We love it. Great. No, we do love it. So, again, for Nathan Snell, Delilah Crespo, Anthony and his 15 personalities handy, Mr. Sean Spencer, I am your host, Nick Rosario, for this week. Thank you very much. Much love.